Hey comic book fans, my nerdy friends, my geeky compadres, what's going on? Uh, today I'm coming at you. I'm actually kind of tired. I didn't get much sleep last night, so I'm coming at you. I'm going to do kind of another lightning round uh, review on a couple books just to kind of catch up uh, on everything. So let's get started. So this week I picked up a bunch of books and I'm going to review a bunch. Uh, just some quick, like I said, lightning round reviews. Just kind of give you a premise on what I thought about them. So first up, we got Detective Comics number 17. I actually really, really enjoyed this book. Um, I like the League of Smiles. I kind of really liked that, that storyline uh, back in The Death of the Family series they they had that one book that they were in i think it was detective comics 16 uh or 15 not 100 percent sure but it was in there and i really liked them in there and i'm glad they put them back into this book i just wish that it would have uh continued on a little bit longer uh they kind of ended it in here i was hoping for another couple books couple issues uh with them in it but it was good uh they kind of did leave you with a cliffhanger in here so uh, I'll definitely pick up number 18 when it comes out. My next book, uh, Fearless Defenders number one. Thanks to Mike Spider Slayer for recommending this one. I really did enjoy this book. At first, it was kind of slow starting for me, uh, but once, um, once the artifact, like the statue turned into a music box and brought all the Viking warriors back to life, uh, it picked up and it was a really good uh, first issue. I liked it. So I'll uh, definitely pick up number two. See how that goes. I might just put it on my poll because I really did like this book. And uh, look forward to seeing you know, what's next for this. I, I did the AR thing on this. And the last, page, the last AR thing they were talking about. Who they wanted to... Who the Marvel... You know employees wanted to see as another team member for the defenders and uh they put out some pretty good ideas there so i'm i'm curious to see if any of that actually comes to light so that was good and next uncanny x-men number one i did like this book the end just threw me for a loop i don't understand why the person who is telling the detective what's going on is the person that's telling the detective what's going on I know that sounds confusing, but if you read it, you'll understand what I mean. Uh, yeah, it's cool. It's kind of a... I know I only read like the first issue of the new X-Men, but it kind of works off of that. So, um, yeah, good book. I'll pick up number two, see where that goes. Uh, next, we got Superior Spider-Man number three. Now, as most of you know, I'm really close to dropping this book completely. But... This issue really worked for me. I liked it a lot more. Uh, the ghost of Peter Parker wasn't in it as much, which makes me supremely happy. And we got to see Spider-Man kind of Doc Ock style, and I like that. Uh, that's kind of why I picked up this book, because I wanted to see what Doc Ock would do as Spider-Man. I, I think that's what we all wanted to see. We didn't want to see Peter Parker running around with him, so... Uh, yeah, I really like this one. As always, I, I loved Ryan Stegman's art in it. Um, yeah, I'll, I'll keep on the bandwagon for a little bit longer just based off this book. Next, I got some image books. Uh, first up, Repossessed number two. If you guys saw my review on Repossessed number one, you would know that I had some issues with it. Um, but some of those issues or answered in this book. Um, I don't know if it's the book that's changed or me that changed my opinion on the book, but I actually enjoyed this one a little bit. The only issue I have with it still is that it moved too quickly. Um, there was one kind of fight scene in here that just seemed like it was over too fast. 
uh, in my opinion. Um, I know it's a, a four-part miniseries, but I feel like maybe if it was a five-part, it J.M. Ringway could have took it as took his time and you know kind of worked out some of the some of the issues I, you know it's, it's just my my issues I have with it but um I felt like this book maybe moved a little too quickly um but it, it is getting better I'm excited to see what three and four have in store and by four I'm I might actually really really love this book so um yep I'll pick that, those two up like I said because I'm a completist so, yeah, that one was still was was much better than the first one. I I liked that. Uh, next we got Bedlam number four. Now, as most of you know, I love this title. This is my favorite title coming out right now, and I really enjoy it. This, however, was the first issue that I wasn't just stoked about. Um, there was no like. There was no flashback scenes in it where the 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 art is all black and white, um, and that's kind of what I look forward to in this book because uh, those black and white scenes are just just insane, crazy. But you know, there's always that book in a run that just you know you got to move the story forward. So Nick Spencer did a really good job at moving the story forward in this book. It just wasn't you know it it wasn't what I was building it up to be. Uh, still really good though, and if you haven't read this book, go back and pick up one through three, and then pick up four, because it's just great. Really like this book. Uh, next, I got another image book, End Times of Bram and Ben. I don't think I did a review on the number one issue. Uh, this is number two. I don't think I did a review on number one, um, but I really enjoyed number one. And number two, Coming on the heels of number one, it was just as good. This book is funny. The art is great. I really enjoy it. Um, the cover kind of threw me, though, because uh, the, the cover on number one, I really enjoyed. It was, like, full of color and really kind of neat looking. This one's kind of toned down a little bit. Um, and we didn't really see too much of her in this book. Um... But, it, you know, it, it moves the story along really well with um, everything that's going on with people going to heaven and people staying on earth and, you know, I don't know, I just, I really enjoy this book. It's funny. It's a great, it's a, it's a really fun read if you want to get into something fun. It's not all too serious and it's, that's what I think I like about, I think that's what I like most about this book is that it's, for most people, it's a very serious subject, but in this book, it's taken very lightheartedly, and it's great. I really enjoyed it. Go pick up End Times of Bram and Ben 1 and 2. It's fantastic. And last but not least, probably my favorite book of the week, which is surprising if you saw my video for the, uh, the previous issue of this book, but Star Wars number 2. Now, Star Wars number one, I loved the artwork, loved the cover work, but I felt that the book was too wordy. This one is fantastic. These covers are freaking epic. I just love them. They're so good, and the artwork is fantastic throughout the entire issue. And I don't know if it's me, but I don't think it's as wordy as the first one. And I got more into issue number two than I did number one. So I'm definitely going to keep picking this book up because it's just that good. Um, so I don't want to give you the premise on this book because I want you to go pick it up. Yeah, it, it's, it's really, really good. Go pick it up. I know probably most of you probably already have picked it up and you know what I'm talking about when I'm saying that it's that good because it is that good. So yeah, go pick it up. That's it for this one. Uh, I hope you don't mind the quick lightning round type videos that I did the last two. I don't know if I'm going to keep up doing them. Um, I saw another couple of videos that were doing like lightning round type reviews and I kind of enjoyed them because you kind of get a feel real quick of what the book's about and 
I don't know if I kind of accomplished that or not, but I uh, hope you enjoyed this one. If so, give me the thumbs up, comment, subscribe, and recommend something else for me to read if you found something else that you really enjoyed. Uh, I'd love to read it, and uh, I'll see you later. Bye.